Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. If you're new to the channel, big warm welcome. My name is Tristan Warlock, this is Captain's Vlog. Not long now until I get launched into the water. We're still in the shed. What we're going to be doing today, we're going to be vacuuming the carpet that we put down over the winter months in order to, to protect the teak. Once it's all vacuumed, we're going to roll it, put it, wrap it in tape, we're going to label it and stow it for the summer. So when we come back after the season, we can put the carpet back on. So what we're going to do now, get the vacuum on and uh, get vacuuming. guys so what I've been doing I've been vacuuming and then Jason is following behind he's rolling it all up and then using blue tape and he's, he's labeling it so you have SD which means sun deck jacuzzi starboard side so then after the season when the boat's back here in the storage um, well in the shed then we know exactly where all the rugs go so we're going to do first the sun deck then the bridge deck then the fore deck and then finally we'll do the main deck and the half deck onto the swim platform so on all these plastic kind of bin bags we have all the fenders which we deflate for the winter so one of the additional jobs we're going to be doing is going to be inflating these fenders put the covers on put the lines on good to go for the season Right guys, so we removed the carpet on the sun deck and the bridge deck. We're leaving the carpet on the swim platform main deck for now. Uh, we've had a few delays. Uh, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna start clearing out the garage. Any items you don't need, we're gonna chuck, clear it all out, and we're gonna get a good scrubbing in here, all this nice flexi teak, organize everything, and then put everything back in its place where it needs to be. So as you can see, we empty the garage. You can see it's quite dirty, so we're gonna give it a good scrub. I did a tester last week. You see the tester panel here, how it came out. So it's gonna be looking brand new. Uh, mistake that we made, we should have put carpet down. It was an honest mistake and it just got a bit messed up. But uh, for next winter, or after the season, we'll make sure we put the carpet down, like we've done on the swim platform, in order to protect it so the workers can come and go freely without worrying them about them messing it up. So we've got our scrub pads. We've moved everything outside. We put the additional items on the bridge deck aft. Got our pads, poles, products, and now we're gonna give it a good, well needed scrub, clean, and so it's all fresh and ready. Let's do it. and clean on the floor what we're going to do now is take some spray cleaner a couple of cloths and start cleaning all the edges we've got some adhesive to take off a few stains to take off and then slab starts you can see in the far corner working on the on the workbench let me just zoom into that for you get the focus there over here is going to work on here then he will clear all this up as well so all nice tidy clean and organized for this summer season so yeah going to crack on with it Oh, Slavonish. Ciao. Ciao. Right, 
right guys, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna get all the fenders in these bin bags, all our fenders. We're gonna bring them all down from the bridge deck off down into the main deck. And then we're gonna hook up our compressed air line, start inflating them, putting the fender covers on, and finally attaching, attaching, <laughs> attaching the fender lines. So let's crack on with it. As you are coming in and out of port, what's really important to remember is every dock height is different. You've got to take that consideration. You've got to take into consideration the height of tide if you're in tidal waters. So always have a good lookout beforehand. Maybe call up hard master saying how high or how low should our fenders be. And then make sure um, that they're all put in place correctly. So what normally happen while I'm maneuvering the vessel before we come in to dock um, my team will tell me whether or not the fenders are ready to go and once they're all ready to go then we'll be called into the port by the half master tie up and in some cases like for example such a peg it's really tight so in some cases you've got to move fenders out of the way they can get caught so it's um, it's a really important operation good communication with all the deck team and um, yeah so that's what fenders are for so what we're going to do now we're going to inflate them put the fender socks on and tie the fender lines on <laughs> 